Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome. This is going to be a short video on our Unity backend series. We're just going to be changing the UI with a free asset that I found on the asset store. It's from Narisa. Narisa. It's called Simple Fantasy GUI. You can of course find the one you like. And we're going to be trying this one and I'm just going to be replacing the images. Before we start, I want to deeply thank all of my subscribers, and especially those of you who support me on Patreon. And if you would like to help me and make this list look a little bit bigger, of course you can go to the link in the description and support me on Patreon. Thank you so much. Now let's begin with the video. Alright, so we actually imported this. We import everything. Uh, so we have Simple Fantasy here in our project. And we're just going to replace the graphics that we used. It should be fairly simple, but I still want to do it with you guys. Um, so we're going to start here with login. Remember, this has a background. And if you press the button next to the image, you can actually just find it here. Uh, so we have boxes and stuff. There is a login box for us here. We can use that one. If we're going to follow that pattern, uh, just change the color back to white. And you can set the native size so it's going to follow the original resolution. So now we're going to center it. So now the origin here is here on the bottom because our minimum and maximum anchors are all in zero. So what we want to do is set all this to 0 0.5 or just press this here in the middle and reset it to 0, 0 and it's going to be centered. Now we already have some inputs here and the buttons that we created so it's going to be really quick we just need to change this um, I don't know if they included a font yes they did so medieval sharp we changed the font to medieval sharp they actually had it uh, white with a stroke so that's what we're going to do we're just going to follow their design so log in we're going to make it a little bit smaller maybe 50 it's a little bit too big so we're just going to put it there and add an outline or stroke here and maybe make it a little bit bigger 2 and minus 2 now we need a the inputs we need to replace the input images so you'll see that inputs have an image here called input field background you can click on the dot again and find the one um, that you would like to use of course you can use anything you want I'm just going to follow the original design that the people who created this asset had in mind that one and the buttons too I want to change the button image uh, so there's login buttons here maybe there's other types of buttons for example here are buttons and the text is not too clear so I sh I want to change this to white let's change the font to medieval sharp and make this text a little bit bigger something like 18 all right, and remember to change the text to the type of text, the font and everything here. Otherwise, it's not going to change. It's going to be ugly when we when we type in it. So make it that and 18 maybe. Uh, so it looks like that now. Um, I want to take a look here um, to get some inspiration. Um, Let's change the color of the background. So there's background right here with the color. Maybe we're going to do something like a clear gray, or it can be yellowish. Just find something you like. And uh, we also have a register user window. We want to change this too. So we can still use the login box. Remember to change it back to white. Set native size change the anchor back to the middle and zero zero so now it's the same size and change everything inside um, however you could do this bigger if you want so for example let's let's make it uh, thicker like this and this actually you can use nine slides to make it look nice so what's happening here is that when we make this thicker the side here is going to increase and be thicker than the part here how do we fix that 
and you see this part here is bigger than this part here and it can be easily done you just need to select this image the original image here and go to the sprite editor and here with the sprite editor what we want to do is create a border so what we do is grab this here this green line and put it around here near the middle um, maybe we want to put it more near the edge because there is a shadow like a gradient on our graphic so we're going we want to go to a part that is flatter doesn't have such a strong pattern so we put it there and we put this one here and we apply this now here when we go to our sprite here register user and we change the image type we can change it to sliced and you see that something changed these become thicker a little bit uh, it changed a little bit and that's because depending on our border it's going to hold those pixels and just scale them and that's because we're using nine slice I'm going to make a video about nine slice and explaining how you can prepare graphics for nine slice and probably when I upload this there will be a card here on the right on the right corner nine slice basically allows you to scale graphics but only the middle part of the graphic so whatever you you have in the border which can be like intersections shadows and all those things they don't get scaled when you scale the graphic so in this case we're only scaling what is inside and then we're conserving the ratio of the borders of our sprite so now create user we have something like this let's make this a little bit smaller there and we are going to change this font make it white and add a outline to n minus 2 that's an ugly outline anyway and then again the same the inputs here we're going to change the graphic to this and all the text here we're going to change the font to medieval sharp and change the size to 18 and finally the submit button we're going to change the graphic to just button I guess now change the text inside the button I'll make it white make it 18 in size and there we go so now we have changed the sprites in our game in our project it looks a little bit better now those I usually do the color things to just uh, get the concept and the sizes of how my application is going to look and then I try to replace them with some better looking graphics so now we can still try here enter your username test user as you can see we don't get to see the text so something's wrong here uh, let's see not in text maybe the size is too big and it doesn't fit inside this so we need to make it a little bit smaller if I do 16 it works so let's grab all this text and also here and change this size to 16 the other thing you can do is increase the size of your input box and it should work as well now let's try this one more time just making sure everything is working correctly test user and one two three four five six and I haven't turned on XAMP as usual I always forget to start and we can actually just try it right away log in login success woohoo we can create a new user test user 4 I think we already have a 4 oh no we don't and we have to make a cool password I will not tell you what it is it's a secret password submit creating user new record created successfully that's awesome so now we have a nice looking UI to create our users and now we have to besides adding more functionality to our login we have to create a user and then after we log in or create our user we're going to get into a page which is going to show our characters avatar and we're just going to have a list of items that we have collected so we're going to make something very simple 
each user is going to have a character and an inventory and the mission of this game is going to be to collect items and you can also have a friend list and you will be able to see your friends items and what they have collected so far. So that's it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please let me know by hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel, it really helps me a lot. Guys, I will see you all on the next one, goodbye.